Now, what happened with me and Molly is me and Molly were watching Cinemax <laughs> at night, right? I started playing with her, rubbing her, right? She got on top of me. I told you this before, right? And I came inside her, right? right? <laughs> There's no rape, right? You can have premarital sex, Indian. The Bible been said so. Right? Now the problem is, a few months later, she said, after I said we were in a relationship, meaning we went to friends with benefits, right? Right, right. <laughs> you understand what that means, right? We had sex. We had sex. <laughs> Now, even friendship, some people is a relationship, right? So again, uh, <laughs> once Molly started talking about me raping her, mom said, stop talking to her, right? She had crazy, right? <laughs> she had like, play Misty for me, which is a movie with Clint Eastwood where He's a radio DJ, right? Well, at the time I was doing videos on YouTube, right? <laughs> right. Now, around the time Miley Cyrus was shooting, right, in Savannah is when I met Molly before, around that time anyway, a little bit before that, right? And that's all I know about it. Detail, detail. <laughs> I did do something with Molly, but not Molly, right? <laughs> Unless Molly and Lynn were having some kind of issue, right? <laughs> About premarital sex themselves, right? right. <laughs> and I don't know, but I don't know. <laughs> See, Molly was 16 at the time, but maybe Lynn was feeling a little uncomfortable, right? In being with her. Now, I did mention it, though, right? In an obscure mention of it, right? Saying that I would have to jump through hoops <laughs> to even have any kind of contact with Molly, Molly and I wouldn't even worry about that, right? <laughs> no, that don't mean if at 16, Molly couldn't drive a car to my apartment, right? Well, that means that she could have drove a car to my apartment, but I don't recall that happening either, right? Right. And other than that, that would be the only way something could have happened, right? <laughs> but again, right, Molly isn't Molly, and Molly is supposed to be Molly. And Molly had a 23-year-old ID from California, right? <laughs> Not Molly. Molly was 16, right? right. But legally, in Georgia, yes, she could have premarital sex with me or Lynn, but according to them, right, <laughs> they, whatever they did it, she lost her virginity to Lynn anyway in a press release, right, right, whatever that means, whatever that means, but again, right, if Molly came to my apartment, Liam could have stopped her or something like that, I don't know, or she blacked me out herself after the sex, but I can't prove that either, either, right? I do have sticks in the house you can hit me over the head with, but, right? <laughs> like I said, with a Comcast girl, right? <laughs> 20 minutes is enough to have sex with me if I talked her into it, and I would talk her into it or not, right? I'm not sure if I showed up at the door naked, right? Or half-dressed, right? Because I got confused a little bit. <laughs> and was trying to get her already in the house as I was trying to put on my shorts, right? What I did, actually. <laughs> but uh, if so, we had sex again. <laughs> and, uh, I'm not sure who was on top, her or me, but I might have made sure if she wanted to do it, she was on top, right? That's the problem, too. And, of course... When I come to again, it's 22 minutes later, 25 minutes later, right? Enough to have sex again, like with the 
the um, nail salon girl, but again, there's another confusion there. She said she was 37, and now you're saying she lied and was really 15. Right. And was illegally working in her dad's store before she could legally work in the store. Right. By a year, by a year. <laughs> and didn't know the rules about it. Very good. <laughs> So all I know is what we were discussing on YouTube again before I met Michelle, which was her name, which was her name, the 37-year-old woman, right? <laughs> so you can't do all this, right, and say it's all me, right? It ain't all me, right? <laughs> and plus, I have a break from reality in 93 and heard voices since then, right? I didn't have that break until then, and you could ask my mom or my parents or anyone I was hanging out with, with which was Myron and David. I didn't go around telling them I was one of the two witnesses unless Tina and Kathy had a menage a trois with me or something, David, right, right. Unexpectedly, we had sex, or you blacked me out because you found out later on. <laughs> Other than that, I don't think they were brought up being one of the two witnesses to you, unless I had to, right? right. And Jesus had to resurrect me from the dead, right? right. <laughs> or after you hit me over the head with, again, a two by four or something. Right, David? Right, David. <laughs> like you were attacked by a couple with the Two by four, <laughs> right? <laughs> and why that happened, right? <laughs> you weren't doing your job when you were supposed to be on the job, right? You were trying to hook up with a black girl or something, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but even then, right? If Tina and Kathy both seduced me and we did a menage a trois or not, right? It's probably because I offered them both oral <laughs> sex and to be on top. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and they can both ride me. Right? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Right. Again, another amnesic circumstances, but both girls again were over six feet, right? Now, me and Molly Zipper might have done something too one night, right? Because I unexpectedly found me and her alone in her house, and I was trying to fill her up through her pajamas, but didn't go nowhere with it, but that's all I remember, but uh, the fact that we were even alone in the house suggests something awkward could have been already going on <laughs> with Molly being on top of me again when I was asleep. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and when I woke, she w had done gotten dressed and went back into her bedroom, right? Uh huh, and I found her in there. Me and her were alone, which is very weird. So I thought it a dream, right? Molly, Molly. Again, right? <laughs> this is Zipper, not. What was her name? Z Zaludek, right? Which sounds like a weird biblical name, never, you know, a mind the plume one, right? And she kind of looks like my stepbrother if he had a. Tr you know, the sex change or something. <laughs> uh, I don't know for sure, but right. <laughs> His middle name was Eve, like the boy named Sue for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, right? <laughs> so, I'm just all kind of confused, right? So, you can't use a mentally ill patient, right? That you knew was mentally ill! Before the incidents could happen. Right. <laughs> and I wasn't always mentally ill, so the children, if I had kids now, what is it, three or four? <laughs> right. <laughs> they don't even know, right? It's not genetic. 
we let it happen to me. It's stress that caused me to hear the voice. <laughs> Our voice saying, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. And then it was telling me Sheena was my witness, right? <laughs> and kind of a wife to me, but not the wife. Mary Bell was my wife and the second witness, whatever that meant at the time, right? But I wasn't sure Jonathan was my son. You know. And I'm not sure if he isn't by a day, right? <laughs> The 14th or the 15th, right? No. <laughs> and a day late is still a dollar short, right? <laughs> if she's with someone else first herself, right? See, she just needed a husband that whose baby she had, I don't know, I don't know, right? But he should have been mine, and the DNA test said he was mine, unless the government intervened for her, right? Which is crazy as well. <laughs> they shouldn't have had to. They shouldn't have had to, right? Right. Because <laughs> it does kind of check out, except it's a day late, right? Maybe, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I can't prove anything like that, right? But all that does is cause someone who is going mentally ill more confusion, you understand, right? <laughs> At the time to now, right? And still dealing with hearing voices and taking the medication, right? So your problem do. Right, right. And reading the Bible a lot, right, right. <laughs> Even Hebrew and Greek parts of it, right? Shalu, Shalom, Yerushalayim, Yisrayu, Ochavayet, right? My Jewish brothers know what that means, right? Even if you don't. Mm -hmm. Bah. Sperm whales. Uh oh. <laughs> mm. And like I said, when you change the story, you're lying, right? But see, I didn't think about it. I just did it, right? With the girl in the salon, right? I offered her a massage, right, in the bathroom. <laughs> but it went erotic because I asked her if I could lick her or buzz her, right, or show her something downstairs, downstairs. <laughs> and she let me do it. And it turned into sex twice the first time, second time, and then third time it was one complete sex act, right, until I came, right. Five times I came in there that night. Five times, five times. <laughs> not once, not once. Not three, not three. <laughs> if I remember correctly, <laughs> with a little bit of amnesia. <laughs> At the end, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's called an erotic massage, and it wasn't about the nail job because I thought the women were picking on her, right, right, about sex with me or not, right, right. But, but, <laughs> if she consented, I asked her and told her she could say stop or no at any time, and she didn't, right. And it's after we got out the bathroom, maybe, too. The, and I left the store and started doing videos on it, right? Then all this came out that way. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is she lied about her age because she wasn't supposed to be working in the store in the first place and tricked me into the sex. Sorry. <laughs> Since I'm in the ill, she shouldn't have done that, right? <laughs> She should have just told me she was 15 and I wouldn't have cared, right? <laughs> and I wouldn't have thought to seduce her in the bathroom <laughs> and massage her, right? <laughs> I only thought that because she said she was 37, right? <laughs> and I thought she would know what I was doing, right? 
at 37, at 37. <laughs> so all you did was confuse a mentally ill person that the girl's really 37 and not 15. <laughs> and <clears throat> did she get pregnant too? <laughs> You're acting like the bad <laughs> You didn't want that mother right. You banned me from the store like we did something, right? You don't want to say what it really was and then that I was sex and then you try to call it rape now, but it was consensual rape, right? See that's the problem. And the thing is at fifteen she can know better, right? And if you black me out through force Using a weapon of some sort. You involved her in the attempted murder plot. <laughs> what did I tell you about that? As a 15-year-old, she can be charged as an adult. Right. For a felony murder charge. <laughs> Even attempted murder is a felony murder charge. What did I tell you? <laughs> you set it up.